Hi, my name is Jackie James. I'm the founder of the VA Project, an online coaching and mentoring program that has been helping virtual assistants to change their lifestyles since 2015. Welcome to the VA Project Blogcast, where I will share what I did to go from a corporate career to running my own business and living a debt-free lifestyle. If I can do it, you can too. Let's jump into the episode. Hey, it's Jackie. I hope you've had or are having a fantastic day, wherever you may be in the world. Today, I'm going to talk to you uh, about business plans. We touched on them in episode two. This is episode three of the Virtual Assistant podcast. And I wanted to give you some more help with developing your business plan. And there are a number of little exercises that you can do that will help you develop your plan, your strategy, your vision board for your virtual assistant business. So describe your business and provide an overview. The industry you're in, the current size, location and your details. For a long time, I had JMJ EA for a day like a giant business card and photo frame on my desk. Now, I created it in Canva and it looked all wonderful and it was just a picture to remind me of why I was at my desk every day working the hours that I was working. It's just little things that, like that that can help keep you on track because we get so busy in the doing when we first start our business that we actually forget why we're there and who we're doing this for. So you can become so caught up in the moment of doing stuff for clients that you actually forget that you are a business owner, quote, not an employee, unquote, but you are a business owner and that you have a reason for doing what you're doing. So that little photo or that little reminder on your desk is enough to keep you going when times get a little tough. And they will. And it will happen lots because there is no silver lined cloud. There is no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You have to make them and you have to work hard to do it. So describe the business challenges that you have. What makes those difficult for you? What alternatives do you have? What opportunities are available to you? Then put down your goals for yourself and your business. Make sure that they're realistic about times and frames and what's going to bind you and what's going to stop you from doing what you want to do. How will you achieve those goals? Then list your actions and put down when you're going to complete the goal because a goal is a definite, but you need to have little tiny milestones to get you to where you need to be. So doing this will help you because you need to check off what milestones have been achieved. And then if something isn't achieved, What impact does that have on you achieving that goal that you've set for yourself or your business? What do you need to work around in order to change that help that you get to where you need to be and what's going to make it a success? So it's not just about focusing on the what if this doesn't happen and the what if that doesn't happen. You need to focus on what if this happens? We move to the next thing. What is the next thing? What is the next milestone? What is the next goal in your business plan? 
So planning is all this sort of thinking, like knowing who your competition is, what personal development you need to undertake, what products and services you want to offer. These are all things that need to be in your business plan. It's no good saying I'm going to be a graphic designer if you have no no skills in that area. I suck at graphic design. It is not my thing. And if you have no software to or apps to even tackle it or learn it, a no knowledge of where to start. But there's nothing to stop you from having a goal that says in 12 months' time, you will be a graphic designer. You can, if that's your dream, then you need the milestones for that goal will be how you're going to achieve it. Now, I'm not saying you can't be what you want to be. You can be anything that you want to be. And I'm a perfect example of that, case in point for that. You can be anything you want to be, but build in the steps to help you get there. They'll keep you focused. They'll keep you on track. You won't lose focus as easily if you didn't have any. And it's easy for other things to get in the way and derail you. And it will happen. So there are a number of government websites. Check out wherever it is you live. There'll be a government business website And I can pretty much back it in that there will be a business plan template on there to help you get started. And they're free. I would expect them to be free. So the Business Victoria website has a a great template to help you with all the prompts. Now it's for small business owners. And if you're a virtual assistant, you're a small business owner. If you're an executive assistant or a personal assistant, you're an employee employed by somebody who pays you sick pay and superannuation and holiday pay. When you're a virtual assistant, people subcontract you. So you have to take care of all that stuff yourself. So the business plan will help you with all this. So do yourself a favor, pop over to the government business website for wherever you live and get yourself a business plan template. You don't have to complete all of it, but it's a document that will be forever changing as your business evolves and as your milestones and goals change. So a business plan is never really finished. It's just a giant roadmap to help you get to where you want to be, to have a debt-free lifestyle. I'll catch you on our next episode. Thank you so much for listening in to the VA Project Blogcast. For more great resources, visit www.thevaproject.com and start changing your lifestyle. And if you're sick of getting lost in the mega online groups, join our online community on Facebook. Simply search The VA Project and I'll look forward to welcoming you.